Oh. What? Oh. Harry, why Harry. would you do it on this island? Shoot it, shoot it. Oh, it's, oh here. it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. Well, this was a mistake. In today's video, we survived a hundred days in hardcore Minecraft. Except there's four of us. Let's get you guys accustomed. There's Bite, Monkey, Harry, and of course me. If one of us dies, then the challenge is over. A couple goals for this video is to slay the Wither, get our hands on some netherite armor, and create a functioning beacon. Can we pull this off without a single death? Watch till the end of the video to find out. Also, thank you guys so much for 50,000 subscribers. We're aiming for 100,000 next, so if you could hit that subscribe button, it'll really mean the world to me. Finally, hit the like button for the algorithm and let's get straight into it. Day one, we started off simply just chopping some wood. And you would think that because there's four of us, this thing would go four times as more efficiently. Oh, is that wrong? If one of us dies, we have to restart the entire thing and do it all over again, which is quite the amount of trust you have to put into some people. But that's the sort of risk that we took. In the beginning, it wasn't too bad. It didn't take that long until we managed to get ourselves some stone tools. That's what's up. Next up was food. That was pretty obvious. I didn't want to run into an issue and not have food because that's one of the only ways you can recover hearts. So we jumped into the ocean not too long after and started chopping up some fish one fish two fish three fish chop 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 after that we decided to explore the jungle a bit we wanted a nice and cozy place to build a house or a base of operations at the very least we did in fact get a bit separated but it was fine we were in groups of two and honestly i wasn't too worried about them this is where things got a little interesting while me and monkey were looking for a nice place to settle we ended up finding the first ravine of this series we looked around for a bit and so far so good but upon trying to actually make a little bit of a staircase down to the bottom of the ravine I then get shot by a skeleton, so I fall back because my health is super low, and I needed to cook up some of the fish that we collected. Yeah, yeah, you heard that, right? Your boy's a chef. It didn't take long till I found a monkey staircase, so I slowly went down there. Instead of giving me the food that he was cooking up, man gave me rotten flesh. Like, bruh, who asked you for handouts? Okay, maybe I did, alright? That's, that's not important. It also didn't take long to realize he wasn't actually cooking food, he was cooking iron. The rotten flesh actually brought us to a decent amount of health. There was a creeper right on the other side of the ravine of us. It was just staring at us, staring into our soul. I decided to bridge to it a little. I wanted to knock it down into the bottom of the ravine so we don't have to deal with it. But what ended up happening is Monkey decided to attack it for some reason. It blows up and blasts my heart until I have half a heart remaining. It wasn't a nice feeling, especially knowing that I could have been the reason that the series ended so freaking soon. We're on the first day. After collecting the resources, we then decided to head back up and meet up with the others. We wanted them to come to us because, you know, where we were at was where we were gonna build. Days two to five. Me and Monkey decided to collect some resources from above ground while Harry finally met up with us and started smelting something. Hi Harry. Hey. I need you can I borrow a phone if I need food I'm on a half. Uh here I can make you one. I'm not actually sure what he was smelting at all. But knowing Harry, it was probably something lame. But on the bright side, the boys were looking pretty dripped out. We were looking like we were ready for some, I guess, casual war. I also took the time out to collect some bamboo. I didn't know why I needed it. I kind of wanted to make scaffolding. I don't know. It could come in handy. Came back to the middle to find out what Harry was actually cooking. And he was cooking up some gold in order to make some gold pants. I don't know why he was gloating about it, but he was. Right. I'm making myself some golden pants just so I can flex on all you. So let's just let Harry do his thing. Despite all three of us wanting to progress further, we were just kind of collecting resources as we waited for Bite. Because Bite was somehow hundreds of blocks away from us, maybe even thousands. We gave him the coordinates to where we are, and we just kind of waited for him there. We got a little bit impatient, so instead of waiting for him there, we decided to meet him halfway. Somehow, instead of ending up at the jungle, he ended up on the other side of the map. Like, he didn't even go in the direction of the jungle. He went the opposite way. I felt like I was walking for ages, but eventually I found a spruce biome. He said that that's the biome he he was in but at last i managed to find him i then took him back all the way into the jungle and met up with everyone else starting from now we were going to move as a unit so that we don't waste any more time trying to find each other but then one of us noticed something that was out of the ordinary somehow in the time that bite was lost for he actually did end up going into a jungle but he just forgot exactly where it was so we tried backtracing because he said he found a temple we agreed beforehand if we find anything like that we'd explore it together it's more fun that way anyways he said he somewhat knew the general chords so we we decided to just straight up follow him. Day 6 to 10. And we found it. We found the jungle temple. We decided to raid it, obviously. What else will we do with it? Live in it? We took the chests. We took the traps. We took the arrows. That's it. The temple was now barren. We took everything valuable from it. Our plan initially was just a dip. There was no reason of being there anymore. But unluckily for us, by the time we found it and started exploring it, it was already nighttime. So we had to kind of wait out the night there. Listen, okay, there might be four of us and that we might have iron armor and stuff, but we have zero coordination, okay? So if we went out there together, 
it would probably be a hindrance to ourselves. So your boy decided to be a home decorator. And bam, these were the results. We got five star rooms in the basement. We got some five star tables, chairs, and cuisine. What more can you ask for? Oh, and Bite finally admitted what he was doing that took him so long. He was getting a parrot. Some H, greedy. Didn't even give me one. But just as we left the temple, a creeper exploded on monkey. It's, it's daytime. Yeah, yeah, let's get out of here. Hey, hey, okay. Hey, okay, we can actually. Oh, Whoa, monkey. I'm worried about that. He wasn't dead, but he was really low on hearts. Then shortly after, we realized we were surrounded by creepers, so we honestly just booked it. Everybody was getting parrots, and I kind of felt left out, so I wanted to get a parrot of my own. And that's what they helped me get. Oh, by the way, a big mistake that they decided to do was leave me on navigational duty. But you know, I'm a little confident, so I was like, yeah, I'll get y'all back home. Come on, let's go. But little did they know, I was lost as hell. But on the bright side, on the way over to wherever the heck I was headed, we found a shipwreck. Besides the valuables that was obviously there, I wanted to find where the treasure treasure led because we found ourselves a lovely treasure map and you know a sign of adventure let's go we were lost anyways what was there to lose nothing that's exactly why we went it was a little distant but it didn't take us that long we started digging up some of the sand around the place and eventually found the treasure chest i really wanted to find some diamonds in there but lo and behold it was just a leather tunic some iron a couple fish a little bit of gold prismarines and a heart of the sea nothing too special and so we continued our adventure until we finally found a place to stay days 11 to 20 this base of ours was a little tricky to pick because i found a perfect island but since we're in the jungle we kind of wanted to make a tree house so luckily luckily for us the island had a bunch of trees what a relief right no more aimlessly walking around <laughs> psych i gotta find a village it was dark out by the time we found it so we decided to make ourselves a little bit of a shack you know that shack actually lasted the entire series it's funny because it looks like an outhouse and all four of us were staying in it during the sunset we noticed that bite was building something and he was building a grave for one of the parrots of his that had passed away this is a very sad moment but Harry needed some wood, so he decided to take the wood from the grave. It's funny, because he was the one who killed the bird, and now he's killing the grave. What a menace to society. Are y'all seeing this? Like, you guys see what I mean? Us being together is more of a detriment than something that could help us be more efficient with things. We placed some of the furnaces down, we placed the chest down, we had pistons for some reason. I don't even remember why the pistons were there, but we had them. Days 21 to 25. Got some more resources from the surrounding area. Me and Monkey decided to explore a bit of the mainland as well, and eventually found ourselves a little bit of a ruined order. The chest didn't have much in it and we couldn't activate the portal, but it was a really cool thing to find. I gotta say though, the jungle and the nighttime together, pack teaming against us? No bueno. Luckily for us, we were by the shoreline, so we just decided to head back. We did the same process for a bit. We weren't gonna chill out there when it was nighttime, and we were only really gonna go there when it's daytime. The other two on the meantime started collecting some wood. It took them a while, but they got to work on the treehouse. Days 26 to 35. We ended up back at the starter shack. Oh, what a cramped place it was. Phantoms were also an issue and we needed to get ourselves some wool to make some beds. We didn't want to do with the phantoms anymore literally going outside during the nighttime would guarantee us that death. that's by birds like nobody's trying to die to no bird a little farm was on the process near the water but alongside that we also planted some bamboo on bites dead bird like think about it right there's a dead carcass down there that could be fertilizer bamboo on it no i gave them a flower that's the only flower i have <laughs> It's just gonna grow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Like, living animals, Fucking when they go back out. into the ground, it'll they make like, good fertilizer. It'll be like our beacon of where we live. And our fertilizer. <laughs> yeah, that bird's body. Holy moly, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, man. The organic compound. Whew. Adrian, Adrian. Hmm? I told you this thing was gonna grow. Ooh. <laughs> See? Look at really this fertilizer. Oh my gosh. We're flourishing right now. That's my parrot Adrian. you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. It was good, okay? That and also there wasn't actually a carcass down there. It was just the dead bird's feather. But you know, that's besides the point. We also had phenomenal amounts of bamboo. What I decided would be a good idea is if I went to the mainland and started planting the bamboo all over the place. That's exactly what I did. Oh, and I built a sandcastle. I'm not sure why, I just, it was cool. While me and Monkey were kind of messing around, Harry and Bite were the two builders of the group. They decided to start working on one, resource collecting, and two, creating the actual treehouse. Well, I definitely wasn't gonna build it, and I don't think Monkey was gonna build it either. Bite showed us around a little bit. It wasn't completely done, there still needed to be a lot of work done to it, but so far it was looking pretty good. Oh, and I almost forgot, look at the view from here. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I don't know, I thought it was kinda cool. Me and Monkey felt a little useless, because at that time, they were the only ones building, and we didn't really have much experience with building. So we decided to head back to the ruined portal. We wanted to see if there were any pieces of lava and if we could possibly create the portal with it. We were kind of already certain that it was impossible, but it didn't hurt to double check. Uh, we kind of have a problem, guys. Uh, 
Well, that hope was short-lived, but we still wanted to find ourselves a village and get out of this biome a bit. So me and Monkey decided to explore. In the midst of that, my my parrot died. Now I know how Bite felt. And at last, we finally found something of good use. No, it wasn't a village, but it was something equally as important. Some could even say that it was more important than the village itself. Yo, wait, I swear these sheeps are rare. Like this one in specific. Wait, that's a pi pink sheep. I swear there's something with them. I don't know. <laughs> I think. I, I'm, I mean, what, wait, what's the rarest sheep? Wasn't it brown and pink, right? Those two. Pink, pink, forever. Pink? Okay. Wait, we've got a pink sheep. Wait, oh, should we capture it? We could boat it. Yeah, let's, let's capture it. it. Oh. A sheep. Yep, we got ourselves a sheep. Monkey was leading it on the boat, and I was creating the platform just so we don't lose the sheep. A bit of a fun fact, this sheep wasn't just any sheep. It was a pink sheep. We got it back to the base, but you wouldn't believe what happened next. We. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, there All right, we go. There go. Look, it's, it looks so happy. It looks so happy. <laughs> uh, uh, what? The parrot! No! Oh my gosh, your parrot killed it! <laughs> we really just did all that for nothing. While me and Monkey were gone exploring, Bite continued working on the house and Harry decided to make us some cookies. He handed us a couple to make ourselves feel a little better about the situation. It sucked, but there was nothing we can do about it. We went right next to Bite's grave and decided to- Bite's- Well, hold up, hold up. Not Bite's grave, the parrot's- Bite's parrot's grave. And placed the pink sheep's grave right there, right next to it. It will be lasting in peace. Days 36 to 40. I didn't want to keep relying on fish. I didn't mind, but if we were going to suffice for all four of us, we needed a proper functioning farm. So I decided to extend Harry's two-road wheat farm to a multi-road wheat farm. Bite kept building the treehouse and Harry decides to go diamond mining. On the meanwhile, me and Monkey decide to stick together. We ended up passing the forest and eventually found ourselves at a dark oak biome. Now, if you guys didn't know anything about these biomes, there's actually a bunch of mobs that spawn underneath it because of how dark it is. And if there's mobs that spawn at night, they kind of linger there. So that's kind of what we were worrying about. Fortunately for us, the biome didn't last long and eventually built up until we found a plains biome. I'm not gonna lie, there were a lot of animals here, which was pretty good. But lo and behold, right when the sun was setting, we managed to find a village. But more importantly, we also found some sheep. We took the hay bales because we definitely needed a lot more food than we already had. So we might as well take some from there. It's free. They're not gonna use it. So we might as well. We prioritized the villages because if we do end up making this a long run series, we'd want to be able to set up our very own trade central at our base so that's exactly what we were prioritizing it wasn't like the sheep were gonna get infected but if we left the villagers there was a chance that the villagers might have gotten infected so we decided to take them first with boats okay it actually connects though it actually connects to, back to the island so we should be fine yeah i, I think i think it does mm -hmm. he's this way days 41 to 50 we went right across the ocean. Luckily for us, we never actually went past the coastline, so we didn't really have much navigating to do at all. We just took them in our boats and went straight back to the island. We got back to the island and we decided to put them into a hole, because we know how well that went with the pink sheep, right? So we decided to do that. We also left Harry in charge of it, which was um, not the, not the most smartest of ideas that we had, but... It was something, right? I looked through the chest of it to see what was new and decided to take the three diamonds from in there, make myself a diamond pickaxe, and go back to the ruined portal. I was going to one way or another somehow figure out how to put that thing to good use. But I got attacked. I got attacked by a small zombie. It actually brought me down to a couple hearts, but we didn't let that get to us too much. I also mined up all of the obsidian within the portal itself. That way, we have a mobile nether portal. Or at least a nether portal we can place wherever we want now. After getting that done, I went back to the treehouse to see the progress. We got a whole new floor. I think we got another one above too, because I saw some ladders, but I wanted to find a nice place to place the nether portal. We found one. We found the room that we were going to put it in. You ready? Besides that. Oh, what if it's going to... Okay, I don't think it's going to do anything. There you go. Are we going in now? I don't think Wait. we shouldn't go in yet. We shouldn't go in yet. And we lit it up. Did we go into the nether yet? Not really. We didn't want to go in there without getting looting to get the wither skeleton heads. Not to mention, we don't even have sheep because we needed sheep to make beds and beds to mine netherite. How's it going in there, Harry? Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, you see Harry. why I wanted to quit. <laughs> Bye, Harry. Uh, uh... 
Me and Monkey went back for the sheep that we left behind before, but instead of me getting a sheep, I ended up getting a cow. It was the wrong species, so I decided to just murder it in cold blood. After getting the right species, we then decided to bring both of the sheep back home so we can, you know, get more sheep. You guys know the process. We don't we don't need to explain it to you guys, do we? Well, within that process, instead of just getting sheep, we also decided to bring in cows because we wanted a cow farm. But bam, there we go. We have now both a cow farm and a sheep farm. We probably should have separated the two. But we didn't, which was a bit of an issue. We also started breeding them so we can get more and more of them. We needed a whole bunch. Since the treehouse was basically done, I let Byte do most of the work, but eventually came back to see the amount of mess that was created within there. There was just so many animals. Yeah, no, I think we're, I think we're good. I think we're good in terms of sheep, to be honest with you. Never. Yeah. Oh my God. Never. Lot, hey. Never enough, man. Get down Never with enough. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> But that was the goal overall. So that's a dub. We got plenty of wool. Oh, and a creeper blew up. We had to fix up the remains of what was left over. Now, now we gotta make the we gotta make the island presentable for the weather, you know? And for the thumbnail, I still need that. And there we go, tip top condition. And here's a clip of a turtle just vibing on our farm for some reason. Oh, oh that yeah. happens. They're just mating. <laughs> what? Oh, I saved it. And Harry being on top of a tree somehow. I, I don't even know how he got up there. Days 51 to 55. This is when things got a little serious. Remember Harry? How he was in charge of the villagers? We left him there for a reason. He was one in charge of managing them so we could somehow manage to get looting out of them because villagers can trade books. And two, just to keep him alive. Simple tasks, right? Adrian, the villagers are all zombies and shit. What? Ryan, what are you doing? I'm getting in the water! They're all undead and things, you know. Oh, wait. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, Why did you leave it open? It. Nope. Not for Harry. He got them killed. Well, not as much killed as it is infected, but they were still unusable. And now we gotta find a way to cure the zombie villagers. Yeah, th th thanks a bunch, Harry. Throughout this time, we were collecting the resources we actually needed to cure the thing, not to mention we also managed to get a bunch of the wool. Because every time they regroup, we decided to shear them. Your boy needed wool. And we needed a lot of it because I was trying to end off the series with a full set of netherite gear. So you can see at the end of the video how that went. Days 56 to 75. We decide it's right about time to enter the nether. We needed a couple things from there and in all honesty, it was about time. We were already at the second half of the challenge, so I don't see why not. We had to play this safe and sound. It's not like one of us could get to safety and the rest of us are at danger. So we honestly had to take this really slowly. That added on to our luck made it a... Uh, you know, a little bit of a tricky situation. But we explored and found ourselves a ruined portal. Fancy enough, near the ruined portal, we also managed to find ourselves a bastion. Now, if you guys don't know why this is such a big deal, there's another challenge that we did where we ended up at a bastion near the first couple of minutes and uh, let's just say things didn't go as planned in one of these. And that one also consisted of four people. So, we were trying our very best not to recreate the moments and the situation we had there. Now, when I tell you this place was even more risky than the last time we came to one of these with four people, I meant it. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, it's a demon pig! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> we looted the place and actually managed to get quite a few good things. Varying from pickaxes, a little bit of ancient debris, and a couple gold blocks. Trust and believe I've seen worse. I have seen way worse loot than that. So I wasn't too upset at it. Are you doing alright? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think so, Adrian. <laughs> The second challenge was a pretty basic one and a pretty simple one. You guys have probably already guessed it because it's kind of crucial for us to find in order to complete one of the tasks that we have. And that's the nether castle. We need the wither. So we need wither skeletons. To get the wither skeletons, we find them at the nether castles. That's where they spawn and so that's exactly where we were headed. Well, we were attempting to head to because we didn't really know where it was. I do have to say though, this journey took quite a while. But eventually, we find ourselves in a basalt biome. Now, the thing about basalt biomes is I hate them. They suck. They're horrible. They're literally spikes on the ground and there's holes and gaps in between them filled with lava. Like, it's honestly just a horrible experience. Garbage biome. But it was a necessity to finally find and reach the nether castle. We needed the blaze powder from them and we were going to get our hands on it one way or another. We found two spawners. There was four of us, so we decided to split in groups of two. Yeah, we, we camped them. I don't see why not, you know, we're trying to survive. I'm, I'm not really trying to die. And we got the blaze powder that we needed. I got the, uh, Wait, the wart. Stuff? Hmm? You got the stuff? You got the wart? I got the stuff, I got the wart. Okay, 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 let's how get How many wart did you get? Wait, how many did oh, you get? I got, I got, 
I got 16. I got 16. Okay, me back up. Me back up in the middle. At this point, we should have enough for the potion of weakness that we needed to actually cure the zombie villager. That was our main priority because killing wither skeletons before we get a looting sword was kind of hopeless. Like, let's be honest here. What are the chances? But despite that, we did try killing off a couple of the wither skeletons, but obviously no luck. I'll navigate. I'll navigate. I got this. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> now here's some clips of us aimlessly walking around because we kind of forgot where we came from. We were trying to find the exit and also along the way we were trying to find some chests. We got split up, then we found each other again and got split. It was a process and a half, okay? So bear with us, alright? Oh! And we found some very strange generation. We found lava that didn't actually flow unless you interacted with it. It was a little interesting, but... We got into a bit of a fire problem with that. Some of us were kind of burning and uh, it was it was very risky stuff. I don't even know why we attempted it. We should have just left. We also messed around for a bit. Wait, we're almost wait, there. We're almost at the cords, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks... I see it. Where? I do see it. <gasps> yes, it's a Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Go, go, go. Let's go. Dream, 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 dream. Finally. Go, go, go. I'm taking some of these bones. Careful, right there, right there. Oh, oh, oh. Why are there gaps like that? But eventually, we managed to reach back to our lovely portal and go back home. We only had a couple more things and we decided to get those materials that we needed for the potion. We need that looting sword and we needed it fast. Oh, and we eventually got way too many sheep because they kept reproducing and eventually, we kinda ran out of production. Every time, you know, a grass would grow, another one wouldn't because a sheep would have already eaten it because they are starving in that pit. So I decided to let them go. Like, where could they possibly go off to? We're on an island, like, come on now. And here is a visual representation of the amount of beds that we have. We were going to get netherite. Even if it's just one of us fully stacked, we were going to get ourselves some netherite, okay? We were ready with the potion and the gapples. We then entered the room and put them in a boat. We needed to separate them, and this is like a sped up version of the separation process. It might have taken a while, but eventually we managed to separate them fully and eventually cure them. The thing about the curing process is that it takes a while, it's not like an instant thing. Hence why they're spazzing out in their place. It makes sense, so we'll just leave them to it. And like the very clever people we are, after curing the villagers, we then leave it up to Harry once more, giving him one last chance to redeem himself and take care of the villagers. Not only that, but he was in charge of getting us those looting books as a villager trait. And that's just also just because nobody else had the patience to do so. So have fun, Harry. We're gonna continue progressing with the other things we need to get done. And yeah, we made sure that there wasn't really an exit for them this time or an entrance for any zombies. Instead of doors, we did manage to put some fence gates up. So that was kind of our defense against zombies this time around. I don't know why I did this, but I decided to also eat a puffer fish. Very poor choice of actions because that very puffer fish led me to half a heart. I was literally one tap, so what I decided to do was run back into the treehouse and just sit in a room and recover. That was honestly a solid plan. Not me eating the puffer fish, but just sitting in a room. That was that was brilliant. In the meantime, I also decided to go back to the mainland and get a couple of blocks because I wanted plenty, you know, in case we need to quick build or something. We actually didn't have full diamond yet, and I was out here stressing about netherite, so I decided to go mining. One for more iron and, you know, two obviously to get us all full sets of diamond armor. We got diamonds here, diamonds there. Literally back-to-back -back diamonds, but then afterwards we didn't have as much luck until, until much, much later, okay? We ended up with around 22 diamonds and we headed back to the base. Oh, and Bite managed to somehow get a diamond armored horse. That was, that was something. Even though I'm pretty sure this beginning portion is going to be based around this singular island, but alright Bite. I guess it does help with exploration to be fair, but we're not going to give it that much credit. Day 76 to 80. To put it simple, we wanted to enchant all of our gear and we had a limited amount of lapis. Despite how much I went mining and how much they went mining, we couldn't find more than like, what, maybe 50 lapis? It was ridiculous. So we had to split it, throughout all of us of course. I managed to get enchanted boots, but besides that all the other trades were kinda garbage and we didn't have any bookshelves, so I didn't see them worth it. But when I was then handed the looting sword that Harry was working on, which he finally got by the way, with the deals we've made with the villager as far, we've only been able to collect two books, so we put it onto two swords. So we needed a bit of a plan because all four of us can't go wither hunting, only two of us can. But then it also hit me that we needed netherite, so that's when the plan came in mind. Productivity 100. All right, I got protection on the iron helmet. Look at me go, popping off right now, Congrats, as my yeah. chat would say. Wait, do you have any? Do you have any spare lapis? Because I got, I made a new helmet. I have four inventory of beds. 
days 81 to 90. And then we were back in the nether. Once again we were split up but this time we had a bit of a plan. Me and Harry would go back to the nether castle, which isn't the same nether castle that we originally found by the way. We had to find a new nether castle, which you know also took a fair share amount of time. While Bite and Monkey went netherite mining with the beds that we created earlier. The wither skeleton doesn't spawn as often, but luckily to our advantage we had looting swords so this made the thing a lot easier. I felt like I walked around for ages there. And Harry was the first to find the first of the three wither skulls. Nice. Oh, Wait, you got one? Nice. I got one. Holy, okay. I got nice. one. I'm still looking nice. for some. Ooh, I'm yeah, okay, that's good. We need two more. Another oh, another God. Don't die, man. Another don't die. Ace of debris. I'm good, nice. I'm good. Okay, I boated him. I have four now. We have enough for one already. This is good. Like anything. I have oh, three. I got coal. One out of three completed. And obviously I got the second and third one. Nah, I, I, I didn't. Harry, Harry got the second one too. Listen, okay, my luck isn't the best. But eventually, we did manage to get the third official one. And obviously my first time getting the achievement or whatever. Playing. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, did. Okay. Hey. Nice. Now it's just up to us, monkey. But at least I helped. You can't say I didn't, okay? Because I got the third one, alright? Who knows how long we would have been there if we relied on Harry too much. After obtaining this, both me and Harry decided to go right back to the overworld. We were done with the nether, honestly. I killed it canonically. Oh, creeper! Oh man. The villager loose. Creeper. Another one. Oh man. <laughs> Two in a row, my god. Do we even need them anymore? Do we really need them anymore? But no. It just, no. And here we were. All we had to do is wait for Bite and Monkey. They had quite a few netherite and we wanted to, you know, get a little bulked up. Days 91 to 95. Okay, I do have to admit, the last statement was a little bit over-exaggerated. Not all of us were able to get netherite. Um, yeah, no, it was a very limited resource, okay? Let's see, give me your guys' armor. I'm gonna make it netherite. Where are you? Alright, I'm back. Alright, let's go. We had a limited amount of time, not a lot we can do about that. And some, uh, were a little bit more fortunate than others. I also thought it would be a good idea to get some golden apples, because, you know, if you get withered, golden apples are like the go-to. They'd be bringing in hearts like there's no tomorrow. There was a lot of preparation involved, and we also decided to make ourselves some bows that are also enchanted. As you can see, we didn't have things like a skeleton spawner or anything that'll actually assist us on getting arrows, so we just worked with what we collected. Probably should have traded that gold with some piglins. Nah, I'll probably get like obsidian or like gravel or something, you know? Our luck is not the best. It really do be like that sometimes. All right, yeah, I think I'm just about ready. Like, I've, I have everything I need. Days 96 to 100. If you've already made it this far, this is it. This is where we accomplished that one big goal. The Wither. That's what all of this is for at the end of the day, and we wanted to pick a nice, suitable place for it. But before that, obviously, we had to make a couple more preparations. We just wanted to make sure we were 100% that not a single one of us died in that fight. Because if we did, we would technically have to restart. I wasn't gonna do that. I'd probably just upload the video as me dying. Oh well, I died, you know? We've spent the hours, we weren't gonna let them go to waste. So at the very end, we scouted out a really nice place to fight the Wither itself. We didn't want it on this island because it was just going to kill our sheep and potentially even the villagers. So we looked in the distance at the mainland and saw a bunch of jungle trees. And obviously we were like, wait a minute, it doesn't really matter if they break those jungle trees. And even if it does make the place look terrible, we could just replant them anyways. And this is where Harry made one of the worst decisions he could have ever possibly made. Just just play the clip. So yeah, I mean like, we got this, we got this. Cause like, it'll be- yeah. oh. What? Bro. With Harry? With a Huh? Harry, why Harry! would you do it on this island? No, 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 no! <laughs> no, we should have oh, it. No, no, no! Oh, oh, fuck. oh, oh my gosh! Shoot oh, it! Oh, shoot it! Oh, it's here! Oh, it's here! It's here! It's here! Okay, okay, okay! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! The villagers are dying! <laughs> the villagers are dying! <laughs> It was ruining everything. Everything we built here was being blown up and teared to shreds. There were dead animals on the ground. The villagers were just gone. And it even managed to take out one of our chests, just throwing all of our valuables onto the floor. We kept on hitting it. We kept on doing damage to the wither itself. And there it is. We have managed to kill the wither. We got the nether star as well. We tried to fix up the place a little bit. The bridge that led us to our base and just a couple of the environment. Just to make sure we don't lose anything we kind of cared about and wanted to keep around. Harry's such a menace, dude. What the heck? And here we were basically on our last day. 
we decided to put a full enchanted set of netherite armor onto an armor stand to indicate that we managed to at least get one set, okay? That's honestly a win for me. Say what you want about it. It was all going well. We were happy. We were celebrating the victory. But then we kind of realized that we needed materials for the beacon. We didn't have enough iron to make all the iron blocks that we needed. And this was the last day. So the instant it hits midnight, that's it. We were on the clock and all of us decided to sprint forward and get the materials that we needed. Cue the dream speed one music. We got everything we needed to make one a beacon and two the iron that we needed to actually power the beacon. After that, we went right back up. We used one block of iron, but that wasn't actually enough. We didn't really know how many we needed. We apparently needed nine more blocks and we literally were working off of minutes of time. Harry went to go check the chest for the remaining iron that we had. I decided to go mining, so did Monkey, and we decided to smelt a whole bunch of iron and make the remaining pieces we needed as you can see it was getting really late there was literally i would say a good four minutes until it became midnight and the beacon was placed and activated and it was over we had a couple minutes remaining and we just honestly enjoyed it let's go let's go let's give us speed oh my oh gosh my God. and we have a bit of time and we have a bit of time oh my god that was way too stressful of an ending and we ended off the 100 days on the balcony